On board one of NASA's most recognizable spacecrafts of the 20th century, something is amiss. Almost 50 years after it was launched, Voyager 1 is still operating strong as a spacecraft. Images and data from interstellar space previously unknown have been returned by the expedition. However, experts are mystified as to why Voyager 1 is finally showing symptoms of wear and tear after 45 years in orbit. Or is it something else entirely? Want to make sure you don't miss anything about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA news and other space updates, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Scientists and academics have been debating over the latest deep space enigma for the past few days. After the first Star Wars film premiered in theaters on September 5th of 1977, NASA launched its Voyager 1 space probe. The Voyager 1 spacecraft is currently traveling through interstellar space at a speed of nearly 38,000 miles per hour. It is approximately 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, making it the most distant artificially human-made object in existence. It passed through the heliopoles in 2012. The heliopoles are the boundaries between the sun's solar winds and the interstellar medium which contains all matter and radiation in the space between solar systems and the galaxy. In other words, despite the fact that Voyager 1 is smacked up in the heart of the Milky Way's cosmic void, it is still trapped within the solar system and has not yet left. Scientists predict that Voyager 1 will be able to depart Earth's orbit in the near future and go far further into space than it has so far been able to. Nevertheless, the longer it goes, the older it gets. During the past several years, it has been traveling at a rate of around 3.6 Earth-Sun distances each year. Because of this, Earth is currently 14.5 billion miles distant. Voyager 1 was launched two weeks after its robotic twin, Voyager 2, on September 5, 1977. Pursuing Saturn in 1980 and 1981, they began to travel in opposing directions and ended up meeting up with the outer planets. Voyager 1 did, however, have a serious issue. NASA has no idea where the probe is aiming, since part of the data it receives back from the spacecraft is out of date. Star Trek The Motion Picture, which was released two years after the launch of Voyager 1, has a plot that could cause you anxiety. What if this is like the enormous storms that destroy spaceships and require a human sacrifice to seize the bloodshed? However, NASA says there's no need to worry about the protracted establishing shots that have been a staple of the space agency's films. Voyager 1 is doing better than predicted overall. Things might go wrong if Voyager 1's dated equipment can't be kept in working order. There are still mysteries about how the Sun's magnetic field interacts with the interstellar medium beyond our cosmic lake. Here in the outskirts, there is a treasure of cosmic data just waiting to be discovered. The computer signal, which maintains Voyager 1's antenna pointed toward Earth, is returning incorrect number sequences such as rows of zeros. In order to find out what's going on with this remote probe, it's up to people like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 project managers and 38-year veteran Susan Dodd. When it comes to identifying difficulties and putting itself in a safe setting, the Voyager 1 has a lot of autonomy. As long as one of the spacecraft's three computers doesn't go into fault protection mode and keeps running thrusters in the spacecraft's high-gain antenna, it's safe to assume that the spacecraft is fine. However, for some reason, it started speaking a strange language that we don't understand. The team is able to guide the spacecraft and the signal strength and lack of fault protection activation are both strong, according to the engineers of the AACS, which indicates that Voyager 1 is operating as intended. As a result, the information transmitted back to Earth is invalid. I'm guessing there's a problem with the flight data system, and we haven't worked it out yet, Dodd. Apparently, produced at random is part of the data. Using the telemetry signal, you get either all zeros or the number 377. Accurate positioning of the Voyager 1 high-gain antenna is one of the primary duties of the AACs. Fortunately, NASA believes that the antenna is still positioned correctly since its signal is still as strong as it was before the problem occurred. Because light takes 20 hours and 33 minutes to travel between Earth and the probe at its current distance, issuing an order to Voyager 1 and receiving a response takes two days, which is reasonable given the distance. It'll be broken into two halves, according to Susan Dodd, the next step in identifying the problem. Identifying the root cause is the first step. Because these systems have redundancy, even after 45 years, we'll be able to select whether or not to reset anything or use any of the backup hardware, she explains. The fact that they won't see any outcomes for decades limits their options. In circumstances like these, what can be done with Voyager 1 and 2 is considerably beyond what the mission planners envision. 
according to Susan Dodd, because the circuits and design of Voyager 1 were likely created by people who have since retired or died. Interstellar travel is also a possibility. The engineering team faces some significant hurdles in this high radiation environment because no spacecraft has ever flown there before. However, I'm certain that our team will find a solution using the AACS. Is there any chance this anomaly won't be solved? In that case, it's possible we'll have to re-establish regular operations, or she says we may never resolve these telemetry concerns. Let me know if you have any further questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Because scientists can proceed with care when they don't know what the abnormality is. To prevent endangering the spaceship and consequently risking the Voyager's mission, they must be more circumspect. Voyager 1 is still sending back scientific data on a regular basis, with no evidence that the project will come to an end anytime soon, according to Susan Dodd. If her team is unable to fix the problems, she said they will just have to adapt to it. The radioisotope thermoelectric generators, often known as RTGS on board Voyager 1, may be able to continue transmitting data until the year 2025, according to some experts. Although it may be revealed that Voyager 1 is about to end its life, it has had a wonderful journey. As it passed by Jupiter's and Saturn's gas giants, as well as Saturn's biggest moon, Behemoth, it took thousands of photos and a staggering quantity of data. It's well known that the Golden Record was aboard both Voyager missions. This photograph disk contains information on Earth's various culture and customs for any alien civilizations that may come upon and comprehend it. Everything from the sounds of nature to Mozart and Chuck Berry's music may be found on this golden record, which serves as tangible proof of the presence of life on Earth as we know it. Scientists have been able to hear the buzz of our solar system as the Voyager 1 probe moves beyond our solar system. NASA, on the other hand, insists that Voyager 2 is still operational. Voyager 2 is just 12 billion miles away from Earth, compared to 14 billion miles away from Earth for Voyager 1. It's traveling at a slower rate than Voyager 1, at a clip of 34.400 miles per hour. In either case, it's possible that Voyager 2 is too slow to leave us on our own. Is it possible that Voyager 2 has human emotions? That would be a major concern, right? Thanks for watching. What do you think about the Voyager space program? Is it going to give us any interesting data? Want to make sure you don't miss anything about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates? Then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. I hope to take you on another journey through our magical universe soon.